to the United States now. And Donald Trump has launched a scathing attack on Kamala Harris at a Christian conservative political conference amid signs that the race for the White House is tightening. In a vitriolic hour-long address to the Believers Summit in Florida, Mr. Trump described his likely opponent in November's election as a radical liberal and a bum and mocked the pronunciation of her name. She was a bum three weeks ago. She was a bum, a failed vice president and a failed administration with millions of people crossing, and she was the border czar. So now we have a new candidate to defeat the most incompetent, unpopular, and far-left vice president in American history. That's what she is, the most incompetent, but certainly the most far-left. Well, for more analysis of what Donald Trump had to say, here's our North America correspondent, David Willis. An hour-long address to that uh, Christian convention, as you mentioned, in Palm Beach, Florida. And uh, we heard some of the uh, mud slung by Donald Trump just there, calling Kamala Harris a bum, the most far-left vice president in American history. And he also attacked her record on immigration, saying that uh, her policies and those of uh, Joe Biden had led to millions of people entering the country illegally. It's amazing to think that um, just a week ago, uh, Donald Trump was basking in the adulation of Republican Party members who had conferred on him their presidential nomination for the uh, uh, elections in November. And now he finds himself uh, battling against a much younger, a more energetic candidate in Kamala Harris and uh, somebody who is doing quite well in the opinion polls as well. The latest polls show that uh, they are basically neck and neck, the two candidates, and that Kamala Harris has uh, gained some of the uh, territory lost as far as opinion polls are concerned to Joe Biden. And uh, there is a two point a difference between the candidates, according to that poll in the Wall Street Journal, in Donald Trump's favor. Uh, but um, obviously, some way to go, a hundred days and a little bit. But uh, this election campaign is really heating up now, Nikki. And David, it does matter, those polls across the country. But in particular, it is those key swing states where we have to really look at the difference between the two candidates and how they're going down, particularly, say, for example, amongst black, Latino, younger voters, and in Donald Trump's case, those Christian voters that he was talking to at that, uh, at that conference. You are absolutely right, and it's significant that uh, Kamala Harris is due to be in the vital swing state of Pennsylvania this weekend. Incidentally, Donald Trump has announced plans as well to return there to the town of Butler, where he narrowly survived that assassination attempt. No date has been given for that gathering, which he said will be to honor the firefighter who died and the two other supporters who were injured in that attack. But uh, it is the black, Latino and youth votes that both of these candidates are going for. And it's interesting that this poll in the Wall Street Journal shows Kamala Harris doing particularly well amongst those group of voters. David Willis in Washington. Well, this comes as the former U.S. President Barack Obama and his wife Michelle have endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris to be the Democratic presidential nominee. It ended days of speculation over whether she'd gain their support. They said in a phone call they'd do everything they could to help her win. This report from our North America editor Sarah Smith begins with Donald Trump's meeting with the Israeli leader Benjamin Netanyahu for the first time in four years. Everywhere he goes in America, Prime Minister Netanyahu is met with protests against the war in Gaza. Convicted felon invites a war criminal, reads one sign, as he heads to meet Donald Trump in Florida. The greatest dinner I've ever had. Their falling out seems to be forgotten. Donald Trump was reported to be furious when Mr Netanyahu congratulated Joe Biden for winning in 2020, when Mr Trump was falsely claiming he had not lost. Now he thinks it's good politics to be seen supporting the Prime Minister as much as possible and attacking what Kamala Harris had to say about Israel. I think her remar remarks were disrespectful. They weren't very nice pertaining to Israel. I actually don't know how a person who's Jewish can vote for her. For her first steps onto the world stage as the likely presidential candidate, Kamala Harris looked very uncomfortable 
with such a controversial leader. This symbolizes the blood of Palestine. Many pro-Palestinian protesters said Joe Biden's support for Israel's war in Gaza had lost him their votes. Kamala Harris wants to win them back with a subtly different policy, stressing empathy for the civilian victims in Gaza. We cannot look away in the face of these tragedies. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering, and I will not be silent. Kamala! Hello. Hi! Hey there! Her campaign got a boost with a personal endorsement from Barack and Michelle Obama, curiously the last key senior Democrats to get behind her. To my girl Kamala, I am proud of you. This is going to be historic. And it's hardly their fault that this video is so cringe. I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and to do everything we can to get you through this election and, and into the Oval Office. Oh my goodness. But not quite as cringy as the attempts from J.D. Vance, Donald Trump's running mate, to explain away his criticism of childless cat ladies with an apology to cats. Obviously, it was a sarcastic comment. I've got nothing against cats. I've got nothing against dogs. I've got one dog at home, and I love him, Megan. But look, th th this is not, people are focusing so much on the sarcasm and not on the substance of what I actually said. And the substance of what I said, Megan, I'm sorry, it's true. Ms. Harris has had a good start this week with enthusiastic crowds and record fundraising. But she has got a lot to do before an election that's just over 100 days away.